Friends. Our champion spot is exhibited by Brandon Moore from Hockley County 4-H. Our champion Poland is exhibited by Riley McDaniel from Scurry County 4-H. Our champion hemp is exhibited by Al Alexandria Nelson from Kendall County 4-H. Our our champion Duroc is exhibited by Faith York from Valley View FFA. The exhibitor of our champion, Dark Cross Barra, is Blakely Burns from Randall County 4-H. Pump them up, Randall County, as J.D. Raglan would say. The exhibitor of our champion Chester is Reese Huffaker from Post FFA. Our champion Yorkshire exhibitor is exhibited by Tatum Price of Snyder FFA. Congratulations, Tatum. Exhibitor of our champion land race is Miss Kate Cooper of Lubbock County 4 H. Your champion crossbred barrow exhibitor, Mr. T Zach Kai Blunt of Kerr County 4 H. Wow, Wayne, we got them all out here now. Oh, absolutely. Here we go. We're going to give them a little round of applause here. Congratulate each exhibitor. But, man, you talk about a uniform set from top to bottom here in our champion drive here at San Antonio. I don't think we disappointed you when we told you that you're going to see some pigs with some power coming some at power. you. Some power. And uh, some muscle in their tops, uh, uh -huh. squareness of hip, and mobi mobile in their makeup. Uh, I think you, you can see this in every one of e each and every one of these uh, barrows out here. Each one's kind of re resembles a little bit 
variety <laughs> with it based <laughs> on their breed characteristics. I think they already have their mind made up here. I think. You guys just go ahead and shut them down. Here we go. I think they made up their mind. Well, folks, I want to first uh, start off by thanking uh, Dr. Griffin, uh, 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 Leslie, and, and uh, uh, Brian Ferris, and the rest of the crew here at the Sony San Antonio Livestock Show. Uh, uh, they put on a first-class event. Uh, everybody they've got working behind the scenes has made this thing extremely seamless for us. And, and I'll tell you, it's a very humbling experience to be sitting here in this ring. And I thank you guys uh, from the bottom of my heart. I want to thank Brandon Ogle uh, for sitting in here and sorting these things with me. Uh, Brandon's a guy I really, truly respect and admire in this industry, and we see things a lot, uh, very similar, and uh, it's been a pleasure working with him, and it's been nothing short of fun. Um, the next person I want to thank is my wife, uh, Lindsay. Uh, she's the glue that holds everything together at home. I've never been away from our farm for more than seven days. This is one of the first times ever. And without her there taking care of things, uh, uh, this uh, wouldn't be possible for me to do. And, and I just want to thank her and make sure she knows that. Um, last people I want to thank, I guess, is, is you parents. <clears throat> I don't know how many kids walked through that gate back there that we sent to the truck that stuck out their hands and said, thank you, sir. I'll be right honest with you. I don't know if I could do that. There wasn't an eye roll, there wasn't a shoulder droop, there was none of that. And it's because of you parents raising this next generation. You guys have got an outstanding set of kids here, and I don't know if I've been in the ring with a more respectful set of young men and young ladies uh, ever in my life. So my hat's off to you parents. Thank you. You kids are out here right now because you've earned it. Take it all in because you never know if you're going to get here ever again. You guys are passionate about what you do. You love this just like Brandon and I do. One of the things we love in our house, and I got four boys, they absolutely love the game of football. I got two little boys, seven and ten. <laughs> in the mornings, they'll be uh, in front of the TV watching football at 630 in the morning, watching ESPN, watching uh, 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 the NFL Network. I got the opportunity to be an assistant coach on my fourth grade son's uh, team this year. And uh, uh, one of the coaches, the head coach, guy I really, truly respect and admire, every start of every practice and every game for 10 weeks straight, raised his hand and said, what are my three words? Those kids in unison said, attitude, effort, and discipline. And I'm here to tell you guys, those are the three most important words that have come out of my mouth on this microphone in the last three days. You guys are here because you put in the effort. You worked hard. You had the discipline to do it day in and day out to get to this point. Now, there are some kids that walked through those gates back there that had the same kind of attitude, effort, and discipline, and the ball just didn't bounce their way. Sometimes you're just at the mercy of who's holding the microphone. But I'll tell you right now, there's a lot of kids who hit the truck, and it didn't take us two steps inside that ring to figure out that they didn't put in the effort to get to where you guys are at right now. It makes a huge, huge difference on what you do in your, your daily uh, routine. The last one to me is the most important, and that's attitude. Your attitude is, ha is how other people perceive you. Without a good attitude, you will not reach your full potential. You need those three things, attitude, effort, and discipline, to reach your full potential and to be successful in your lives. You guys are here. You guys have done that. And I tell you what, you've earned it. My hat's off to you. Congratulations. This is an elite, elite grand drive. <clears throat> One last thing, folks, I want everybody to put their hands together for all these people behind the scenes. They've done an outstanding job. You guys have done an outstanding job in the ring. I'm going to set the microphone down, discuss it with Brandon one more time. You guys fire these things back up. Again, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart for bringing here. Here we go. We're getting ready to select a uh, supreme champion overall market bearer here at the 75th annual San Antonio Livestock Show and Rodeo. And look, we got it. Woo! -wee! Out of grand champion out of 2,495 barrels. It's your dark cross, I believe. The dark cross, yes it is. Dark cross was exhibited by Blakely Burns. Congratulations to her. She is the supreme champion market bearer here at the San Antonio Livestock Show. And let's hand it over to Mr. Ogle here in a minute for 
the reserve champion overall, Market Barra. That's a good hog. Oh, yes, most definitely. Now we're bringing out our reserve champion, Dark Cross, here. Exhibited by Kenley Rohan. Good luck, Kenley. Reserve comes out here, and it's no slouch either. No, it, in, it definitely in fits in the and, 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 and with these other champions out here. Again, as we preach to you, it uh, they definitely wanted the power, and you're not disappointed in the power up front of this one either. Absolutely. Guys can shut them down briefly here. Uh, if you were betting on how long my speech is, you could hopefully bet the under. Uh, I'm not a big talker. You've listened to me all week. Uh, I do want to say just some thank yous. The crew here at San Antonio, from Brian to the staff here, you've made our life uh, in very, very easy and enjoyable behind the scenes and getting to and from. And to you all volunteers and staff here, I thank you very much. Very similar to what Eric said, I never really thought of this. I mean, some of you that know me know, know how big of a social butterfly I am. I've never been away from home for a week either, um, especially the farm. And my wife is at home breeding, farrowing, getting ready for a big pig sale here uh, a week from tomorrow. And uh, uh, without her running the ship, there's absolutely no way that I could come down here and do this and enjoy myself. So my hat's off to, to her, my family, and my crew at home. Eric, thank you very much. Um, I've known Eric for a long time. Uh, we've got closer through the years, and he's been very fun to work with in the ring and back in the back here. Uh, had some discussions, uh, no major issues. We've been on the same page. You guys can fire him back up here. We're going to tie a reserve grand. <clears throat> Short and sweet, Mr. Ogle. Also, Let's I'll reiterate what Eric said about the kids. I didn't see any high eye rolls or anything, and, and it's hard sometimes for me to relate to my customers back home uh, on the little things that sort things uh, uh, and to make yourself be able to get here. Uh, and you can work all that time in, in maybe 30 seconds between two rings uh, could be it. It's just little things that sort them. You bring all these champions out here, and boy, I, I, whether you agreed with this or not, uh, these breed champions, uh, I'm very pleased with. Uh, each breed representation is very, very good, and getting down to the nitty-gritty, it's amazing that you can go through that many hogs and that many classes, and it came down to one breed and one tough pair. Young lady, you're reserved dark. It's reserved grand. He kept the darks together. Kenley Rowan is your reserve supreme champion. No, nope, reserve grand champion. Reserve. Oh, same thing, isn't uh -huh. it? Uh, Supremes for the uh, breeding. They <laughs> have it down here, supreme oh. champion, <laughs> sir. Well, they do, but it is the reserve it's grand reserve of the grand. show. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Ferris, yep. for the correction there. I knew what I was talking about uh, you on know, this the, breeding. The old man still got it. My name is Landon Rohde, and I've been joined with my dad, Wayne Rohde. And we've really enjoyed this week and hope you guys have too. Absolutely. it's uh, It's been a pleasure to serve you, not only during this bear show, but also the Junior Guilt Show. And we hope that we've given you a play-by-play -play and made you feel like you were here at the show. And, and we appreciate you tuning in to this great, great event. And as you saw, they, they talked these two barrows in, in class, and it was like splitting hairs, and they kept them together. Well, and, and I'm going to just go ahead and reiterate the uh, Dark Cross. Uh, the champion Dark Cross uh, was also your grand champion of the show. Blakely Burns exhibited that one. And our reserve grand champion, Market Barrow, was the reserve champion Dark Cross. Kenley Rowan, he kept those two together, and what a deep breed that was. 
Yes, and so thoroughly we've really enjoyed it. It's been a pleasure to serve you, and, and I hope to see you guys. Uh, we're, we're coming to Houston to, to just uh, see the show, but uh, if I hope to see and talk to you sometime during the year, and, and you have a great uh, rest of your afternoon, and again, thoroughly enjoyed it. Thank you for Landon for being such a great co-host and also to uh, Mr. Brandon, Brandon Anderson. Anderson. Yes, sir. Really enjoyed him as well. It's always a pleasure to serve with him. And uh, we, we have such a great time uh, working with, with uh, him as well. And, and uh, again, thank you for, for everything. All right. I want to wish these kids uh, the best of luck down the road. And congratulations to all these exhibitors here at San Antonio. Over and out.